Where are you from? Norway. Norway. Here, Katarini. How? I'm just traveling by motorcycle and I'm just here. Ah! Hello? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my friend. What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean! Today I'm waking up here in uh, these beautiful surroundings after camping here last night. Today's plan is to head for Thessaloniki but I'm camping basically along the Trans Euro Trail so I figured I would start the day on the Trans Euro Trail. Um, on the regular roads I'm about three hours away from Thessaloniki so we'll take... Uh, we'll see how, how, how long we stay on the Tets and uh, how far we get. I've just packed up camp and I'm ready to hit the road, so let's just go. All right, here we go. Yeah, here. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Around that. Ah, no, it's the top here. Mm -hmm. oh. What is this? Doesn't look like uh, I can follow the San Jose. Oh well. Oh. I'm gonna go have to get down to the main road again. Okay. Oh, we Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Oh, Ah, uh, no, we just have to go back here. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm sure I could probably get past there, but I, I don't want to do anything illegal. Damn it, I've forgotten to put a battery in my, uh, in my helmet GoPro. <laughs> I was talking and talking and uh, nothing was recording. The place where I'm going now, Thessaloniki, is uh, it's the only place I've, I've been before in Greece. But I, was, I think I was 12 years old or something when I was there. So I don't really remember much. All I remember was buying a, a fake Barcelona shirt. The, the gold one, if you remember that. It's like 2000... 2001 or something, something, something like that. And I went to the arcades with my little brother <laughs> and uh, spent a lot of money there. So it's going to be interesting to see if I recognize anything now that I, uh, when I get there. I know the, the last section after Thessaloniki towards Istanbul, that uh, section of the trans -Euro Trail is uh, a bit too difficult for me, I think. I was watching a video from uh, from that section recently, and it just looks way, way, way too too difficult for me. A lot so of people have been telling me to uh, to check out some of the islands uh, in 
in uh, northern Greece, or peninsulas, I guess. There's one that called Atos or Atmos or something like that, um, where no females are allowed on the island, not even female animals. <laughs> Would be fun to go there, but I don't think I have time, unfortunately. And there's no roads, so it would be like a hiking, hiking trip. That's a bit crazy. It's like these uh, religious fanatics. Women are dangerous, so they're not allowed on the island. <laughs> it's like not even female animals. Like how the how the hell do you control that? Things like that, I think, is is just stupid. Some uh, some girls should uh, go on the island and uh, make a video about it. It's a bit it's like taking the the bathroom conversation <laughs> to the extreme. The whole island. Women are not allowed on the island. <laughs> this road seems to be... It used to be asphalt, but the, it's... Like this, this part, you see, it's like traces of asphalt. What happened to the road? Why is there no asphalt anymore? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just curious. Damn it, I was feeling uh, pretty good today. I was excited to go on the Transio Trail. Oh, here we come back down to the... to the asphalt. The main road again. Oh well. Oh, that was fun. It's a little bit annoying. Like, today I was feeling really good and I, uh, I felt like uh, today I'm gonna enjoy being on the trans Euro Trail because for the last couple of times I haven't really enjoyed it that much. But today I felt pretty pretty good. So for tonight I've booked uh, an Airbnb for two nights in um, Thessaloniki. So I'm gonna stay there uh, for for two nights and. Uh, edit a video. I'm not really gonna have time to explore the city too much because now I'm I'm, I'm pretty close to to Istanbul, my goal um, but I'm running out of money so I, I kind of have to get there before I'm out because I also have to return to Norway after Istanbul unfortunately and the, the longer the more time I spend or the more nights I spend or I pay for before I get to Istanbul the, the more difficult it gets because, well, yeah, money, always the issue. So right now I have about, uh, I think, maybe 600 euro left. Uh, that needs to last me until I get home. Plus uh, the, the money I get from, uh, from you guys and from YouTube, that is uh, on top of that. So that helps me a little bit. Or quite a lot, actually. A banana tree? Huh. I haven't seen any banana plantations here. That's cool. I didn't know they grew bananas in, uh, in Greece. Now I'm uh, heading towards a place called Kat Katerina, Katerina, something like that. Uh, and not too far from there, I can uh, I can rejoin the Trans Euro Trail. <laughs> but since I couldn't uh, really do what I was thinking uh, of doing today, I uh, figured maybe I should uh, stop and get some uh, some coffee and uh, and some breakfast. I haven't eaten today. Just uh, woke up, packed up camp, and uh, got on the road. And I don't really have any food, because I haven't found any camping gas. I miss making coffee in the morning. <laughs> Let's see if we find a city or something, a little town that uh, has a, a coffee shop. Huh. I see a car there, a van on the, on the highway. That's, it, it's a camper van. It's like one of the, the ones that I want. I, it's, I think it was the Ducati. No, not Ducati. What is it called? Like the Italian brand. And it had two motorcycles on the back. Two Honda, is it CRF? 350? The same bike that as Norali Mechiboots has. Two of them on the back of the, 
on the back of the, the van. That's perfect. I was talking to some uh, suppliers in Norway and they said that was illegal because it's too much weight. You're only allowed 100 kilo or 150 kilo on the back, total. So now I'm curious because now I, I see that and it has two of those bikes. How, how can I make that happen? That's pretty cool. Family traveling in a, you have your house with you and then you just stop and you go riding wherever you want. You can stay anywhere for as long as you want. Because you always have a place to sleep. And then you can go on like motorcycle tours of wherever, whatever region you're in. That would be, uh, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? That is pretty cool. That's a huge ass castle. That's pretty cool. I wonder what, uh, what what castle this is. Oof. Is there a coffee shop here? Must be a coffee shop there somewhere. Cafe Pizza. Ah, okay. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Let's continue then. But that castle, damn it. That is so cool. Looks pretty intact too. Looks like it's from the medi medieval times. That's really cool. These are some amazing mountains and there's still snow on top of them. Huh. Even here in uh, this heat, with this much sun, the snow still lasts that long. I'm feeling so tired. Last night I took uh, a couple of sleeping pills. Because I haven't really slept properly for well, months, so I, I figured, okay, let's try to take a take a sleeping pill and see how that works. I did fall asleep, but I didn't really sleep well. I uh, just passed out and uh, woke up. I don't know, uh, not nightmares, but I was just like I, I felt myself being awake and kind of paralyzed the whole night, unable to really do anything. And when I woke up I, this morning, I just felt groggy and drunk. Here, there must be a coffee shop. I, was about, I saw a sign to Franklin Coffee. Let's see if we see Franklin Coffee somewhere. Okay, let's go down to the beach. It seems to be a beach town. Hotels. Uh, this is definitely a tourist uh, town. Giros. I've had a few gyros while I've been here. Gyros is nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah. This is uh, definitely a beach town. Oh, damn it. How is this fun for anyone? Just sitting here in a jam-packed beach. I don't understand why people do this on holiday. Like when you finally have some time off. And you want to come and just spend a, a ton of money to sit in the sun like this? That to me is strange. I'll never understand that. But to each their own, I guess. No coffee shops though. Like I've seen hundreds of them <laughs> driving through and when I'm looking for one, I see none. What the hell? This is a tiny town full of hotels and the only reason people come here is just to lay on the beach. Alright, so now we are in Caterini. Caterini? Caterini? Something like that? 
Here, coffee flavors. And I can park in the shade too. That's perfect. Let's check out coffee flavors. Just wanted some coffee. Yes, what coffee? I don't know what you have. Do you have any interesting coffees or? Okay, let me just get a cappuccino. Thank you. Oh. Okay, it's not really what I wanted, but. Well, that was not the best coffee I've ever had. I thought it was a coffee shop, but <laughs> that was a terrible cappuccino, unfortunately. But let's go find a, a different place. I know there's some good coffee here in uh, in the city, it's some somewhere. So. Must be a place where I can have a good cup of coffee today. Oh, City Roasters. That looks like a decent coffee shop. Let's park here. City Roasters, that looks like a really good coffee shop. They must have some decent coffee today. Hi. I was just curious what kind get of coffee you have. Yeah, I'm a roaster. Yeah, I'm a roaster too. Where are you from? Norway. Norway. Here, Katamini. How? I'm just traveling by motorcycle and visiting here. Ah, hello. Yeah. Nice. I'm just visiting coffee shops everywhere I find them. Uh, you found your. I saw. You saw your. Uh, here at our roasters uh, factory, we have our factory, we have coffee, we roast uh, coffee. What, what kind of espresso do you have? So, I have uh, at the office down for this uh, wash. This is a Costa Rica Tarazu. Also, wash. Uh, Ethiopia looks lighter. Yes, yeah. it's the lighter one. Can I try an espresso with that? Uh, Sin Dopio? Yeah. Dopio? Dopio. Your name? My name is Kenneth. Alkis, nice, nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Come. You too. Were you at the World of Coffee? What? Were you at the World of Coffee? Yes, I was. Yeah? I was, yes, I was. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's a nice wash deep looking. I'm going to Thessaloniki uh, now. Straight for away. Two, two days. And then? And then to Istanbul. And then? And then back to Norway. Ah, okay. I want, I want to keep traveling, but I, I'm running out of money. So I need to go back <laughs> Okay, again. you must work. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good coffee. I knew I could find a coffee here. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's got uh, a lot of acidity. Oh. Yes. I was for a company called uh, Langora in Norway. Langora. Small, small roaster, but very it's small roastery. Or? Small roastery, but very high quality. So it's it's fun. You get to try the best coffees from everywhere in the world. No, I don't. I gotta find some place to. Uh, oh. Valen is very good. Valenio? Valenio. This is actually pretty good coffee here in, uh, in Greece. I, I wasn't expecting this high level. Yes, uh, we have uh, high level uh, coffee shops and uh, high level uh, baristas that are famous all over the world, but the, the, the full uh, characteristic is that we drink a lot of Freddo. Freddo espresso, Freddo cappuccino. And that is uh, very different uh, from the. Uh, Oh, yeah, of course. We right. have an ice cube, we have a sugar, we have a milk, we have uh, uh, fat milk. Uh, I think that's that's everywhere. This is the yeah. yeah. This is what they cover the speciality coffee. Yeah. It's more traditional in Italy. 
I don't like the cup the coffee this and to go no. in either. The robusta is not my uh, my not my taste. It's too bitter and no, it's it's basically no they like that they drink they grow up with this taste and then this. Yeah, and they, nobody washes the machine. Nobody washes oh. the machine. <laughs> All black oils, yeah. bitter, uh, petroleum, uh, all the black and the gray from the coffee wheel is uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> like five years without washing the machine. They work and they I gotta get going, but uh, it was really nice to meet you. Nice. You want a sticker? Yes, of course. And uh, Perfect. well, I gotta pay for my uh, coffee. No, no. The oh. house. No, no. Greek school of hospitality is this. <laughs> Thank you, but you're welcome. I, I have to at least pay for my espresso. No, no. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Keep going. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome, my friend. Really nice to meet uh, you. Like your Instagram, uh, you can give it to me? I, I, yeah, uh, write the coffee bean. Okay, nice, nice. Cool. Nice. Thank you. Have a nice day. Huh? Keep going in bricks to get the Of course. That's, that's what life is about. <laughs> this, this is our target, target. Life is too short for bad coffee. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was really fun. <laughs> I refused to let me pay for the coffee. And he gave me two bags of coffee to take with me. It's uh, not the best business, but really nice. Right. <clears throat> that was fun. City Coffee Roasters. I know I could find some good coffee in Greece. <laughs> but now let's head for uh, the Trans Euro Trail. I think this is the beginning of it. Yeah. Just get past them as quick as possible. I don't want to be attacked by those. Oh shit. Yeah.